What's up guys, Jason at Cock Hill Farm and today I'm gonna to talk about my bees. So stay tuned. What's up guys, today I'm gonna to talk about our new honeybees that we got recently and give y'all an update on what's going on here. Yeah, recently we got super lucky and got honeybees. This was this was honestly out of the blue. We have tossed around about getting honeybees again. If you haven't kept up with our channel, we did have bees before. If you have kept up with our channel, you know I'll put a link to our bee video over here. Our first hive, after a few months, I can't remember exactly how long it was, but it started declining. And then lord have mercy it started declining and in about a two to two, two to four week period they died we originally thought it may have been hive beetles but then we talked to some other uh local bee people they also too lost their hives and then some of them have also told me that typically you're if you got a strong enough hive they ward off hive beetles and another issue i had was is is my my hive wasn't in the full sun it was kind of it was pretty shady and i think that may have had an issue to do with the hive beetles as well because they don't like that hot 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 weather i had a beetle trap in it but my bees still declined and i went out there one day and it was just full of hive beetle larva and so yeah, i basically lost it then we noticed that stuff dying on the roadside and a lot of people in our area think that it was when the county sprayed the roadsides that's what hurt our bees um we actually saw men walking around you know less than a mile from our place with the with the orange safety suits on with backpack sprays on just spraying i think those guys were spraying for zika because this is when the zika scare was going on and there was a lot of reports here in the south uh, i know north carolina really got hit was is that the uh, the zika spray were killing or damaging your bees and your beehives i kind of think that's what it was i have no proof of that all i know is is we saw men spraying then they sprayed the road size two weeks later my hive was in super decline and then two more weeks later it was dead and then there were three other um beekeepers that had a very 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 similar experience so just kind of put two and two together I had really gotten down to say, you know what, forget it. I'm not going to get bees again. Bees are so expensive. If 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 you can't go out and find your bees, it's 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 pretty expensive. Or at least to me, it's expensive. I mean, some people it may not be, but but to me it is. I mean, I pay 300, about three three fifty for my full. It was a full fledged hive. It was one deep and um, one medium and. I paid 350 for it you know in a few months it was gone not including all the other stuff i bought you know i, I have you know other bee boxes frames foundations uh the bee equipment suit smoker tools all the stuff that you need to raise bees i have bought all that and my hive was growing so fast that um i actually i actually started a nook off of it and i lost it all so we decided we weren't going to get bees again. That's what we had kind of decided. And so, long story short, we got a phone call one day. There was a um, somebody that couldn't no longer take care of the bees, and we had to get them right then. It wasn't no waiting around. This was completely out of the blue. blue. It broadsided us, and you know we had a decision to make: either we go get the bees. We had no no idea how many it was. We didn't know how healthy they were. We didn't know we just didn't know anything all we know is is we got a phone call we got these hives if y'all want them come get them but you got to do it now so we had a decision to make and i was like at first where are we gonna put them we wasn't prepared do we have an area for them last time i had them in the shade to me that was the only spot i thought i could put them and then i said to heck with it you know i'm gonna try to make this work i told my wife brooke i said let's 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 do it and so we did we came up with this area area here which is in the sun 
and but we've had a lot of rain it's rained all week this week it's fixing to rain here in a few minutes and i'm trying to get this video in before the rain comes this is it we're going to build another little fence around this to try to keep anything out um so far we haven't had anything predator wise skunks or coons or anything like that to get in them um we do have two livestock guardian dogs so but we are going to put a fence around it this is the area i came up with this is going to be pretty much full sun if not it is pretty much full sun except when the sun gets later in the evening and then it'll be in the shade but it ended up being 11 hives we got there and they thought only one was active and it wasn't they were they were pretty much all active for the most part we made two trips because the first trip we thought that was all of them and then a neighbor called and said hey look there's uh i think it was five or six on his property and so we had to go back the next day and get them but the first trip they kind of been looked like they've been neglected for a little bit the foundations that they were sitting on were kind of tilted sideways all the tops for the most part were all campaign signs they were all homemade boxes for the most part and they were made out of whatever this gentleman could find so we went and got them that night we waited to that night when we went and got them the first couple went pretty smooth but the ones that were sideways that camp i was putting uh, a, like a rag in the entrance and then we would ratchet strap it shut and then pick it up and put it in the uh in the truck and luckily my wife suggested we take the horse trailer and thank goodness she did i mean not only did i marry her for her looks i married her for her brains too but thank goodness she did because that came in super handy because you know when you see a box like this one or this this one you know they say the average weight of a deep like this is around 40 pounds so i mean you can see so some of them got pretty heavy but the main issue was is is there was all these cracks and crevices so when you ratchet strapped it didn't do anything you thought you had them sealed up but they got angry and were coming out and it was a mob scene it looked like the killer bee movie We did get stung a good bit, but we ended up we ended up um getting them. It took us there was eleven hives total the first night. I think we got six that night and came back and got five more, or it may have been seven and four more, something like that. But that first, I think it was six. That first six took us over three hours to get those hives because it was a total nightmare. And plus, like I've said before we have no clue as to what we're doing you know we, we we really don't so we're just we're just feeling as we go talking to a lot of bee people reading a lot of bee material watching whatever we can watch and trying to figure this thing all out so we got those they call us back the next day hey there's there's five more and so those five were nice they had tops they were regular boxes we drove up back the trailer in got everything out suited up ratchet strapped them all together and loaded them up in less than 30 minutes so it was a huge difference and it was still daylight but it, it was a huge difference but you know between those two so but we learned a lot we really really did learn a lot so what's next well right now i have looked at them and they all seem pretty pretty healthy there's there's a good many bees in all of them that's what we didn't know we recently bought tops i had some tops left over from my first hives and um or hive and so we recently bought some more tops and they all have tops on them we got rid of all the campaign signs speaking of the tops we got those new tops in and we were putting them on and we've gotten fairly comfortable with the bees that a lot of times you know just just hanging around them and not really opening them up and getting into them you know we don't even suit up or anything everything was going smooth until we got to one hive you got a lid yeah mistake number one so see you can you can you can learn off our channel what not to do <laughs>
basically all I've done though is it's taken the top off and looked at one frame you know the weather's been kind of crazy I talked to some local bee people and they told me just let them be until spring comes then when spring comes check them out so I'm taking their advice I'm just gonna let them be right now until spring comes and then we'll check them all out and start going at it it's a little cool and cloudy right now so they're not that active but when the Sun comes out oh my gracious we have bees everywhere I'm probably gonna do something different here like I said this was I had you know just a few hours to come up with something I knew we had concrete blocks I knew we had a bench I knew we had a tape I, I knew we had all this and so I was able to get them all up off the ground and get them situated and set up here but I plan on maybe building a platform from all to go on you know that kind of thing and I know it's you know not to move them and all that kind of good stuff so we'll see we'll figure it out we'll figure it out there's plenty of uh beekeepers that watch my channel that have been helping me out a good bit and there's uh we got a lot of beekeepers here in our area so hopefully fingers crossed we can keep these guys going i hope you all follow us along on our journey because i know that we that we're going make some mistakes and hopefully somebody can learn from our mistakes because we are total i wouldn't say total rookies because i have have a high i did have a hive in the past so i got some idea but by all means i am no bee expert at all so this is going to be a big learning experience for us my wife has really got into it she um the first hive she really didn't care that much about it for the most or wasn't interested in it but these she has really really got into it and I almost call them her bees because she 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 tends to them more than I do hey guys I hope you liked the video if you did give us a like and share us with your friends and family I hope y'all follow us along on our on our little bee journey here and hopefully I got more videos to come in the future and we keep these bad boys going and guys I hope y'all have a wonderful day We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Y'all, hey, y'all, y'all be good.